Hello everyone, we're Tom and Bunny. This is our Life Without Limits. Today we're gonna to talk about appropriate attire when going out to an event, such as a club, takeover, meet and greet, travel, mm -hmm. you House name party. it. House party. House party, you name it. Watch our video, we'll be right back. Hello everyone. Sorry we missed a week. We did miss a week. I had a bean dip accident. Yep. See what happens when you get on hand. <laughs> yeah. She put me in check. I did. I did. I broke out that front tooth. I broke out a bottom front tooth. <laughs> I mean right in the <laughs> right in the front. It was totally humiliating. Yeah. So we weren't going to do a video. I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, well, I don't want to say hillbilly. <laughs> you were slurring just as bad as I do. I was slurring. <laughs> All right, so tonight we're going to talk about appropriate attire when you go to any type of a club. Um, swingers club, house party, takeover, you name it. You know, I always say the best and most simplest attire is dress to impress. Mm -hmm. I mean, no matter what, you can, I'd rather be the odd person out dressed nice then go there wearing flip-flop shorts, a t-shirt, and everybody else is dressed up. Yeah. So just remember, roll a thumb, dress to impress all the time because in this lifestyle, you got one chance to make an impression and we're here to help you make that impression. Correct. Now tonight we are dressed a little more casually than we would typically be dressed. Yeah, well, no, I mean. Well, not you, but I am. Yeah, yeah, you usually were. I usually slut it up a little yeah, bit Yeah, you more. do slut it up. <laughs> Think of uh, Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. Yeah, I mean, she, you, you make her blush. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyways, you know, if you're going to go to, like I said, any lifestyle event, dress as if you would if you were going to an upscale nightclub. Or that's nice gonna restaurants. Be, yeah, and that's going to be your best bet. Yep. Now, keep in mind, you always want to call the event first. Mm -hmm. uh, we... You know, we just went to a Ree's birthday. Yes, we did. And, you know, we we called and said, what's the attire? Because we, we don't want to be the odd people out. No. So we were told very casual. Mm -hmm. So we were able to dress to the appropriate theme of the event. And that was even just a birthday party. Right. That's just a small little gathering. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Correct. But yeah. I got caught with my pants down a couple weeks ago. We went out to a a brunch and I'm like well what should I wear and they said just kind of casual. casual so I did luckily I wore at least a pair of heels but I had on jeans and a casual top and you were the most underdressed <laughs> one there everybody else was looks like they were coming from just from church they had their dresses on they or were from a nightclub nice. at 11 in like, the morning oh my god <laughs> yes so don't ever you don't ever want to feel that way no no <laughs> so typically guys you know, you want to wear button-down shirts or polo shirts. Mm -hmm. um, you can wear nice uh, designer jeans and nice shoes, closed-toe shoes. Keep in mind that flip-flops are great for the beach, great for a local bar, but really not a lifestyle club. No. And no. besides that, the owners really hate it. Right. And a lot of the guests say something, too. Baseball caps can tend to be a little bit edgy. I mean, yes, I know that a lot of people pay more for their baseball caps than they do for their jeans. Yes. But think of it that way. Oh, and we did have one say to me this Sunday, but it's not a baseball cap. Because it had it's, some designer logo. Right. Baseball style mm -hmm. caps. If you want to wear a hat, wear a fedora. Yep. Cowboy, Cowboy hat. hat. Uh, any type of hat. Baseball caps, just, they don't really accentuate what people are looking for to be honest that it, it is what you're looking for mm -hmm. but majority of the people if you go to a club and you're one of two people wearing a baseball baseball style cap there's a reason for that because people really don't like it no the other one that is also acceptable is um cleavage Cle cleavage is very acceptable lots of cleavage but a lot of the gentlemen now as tom does wears a lot of the i don't want to call them t-shirts i'm 
Can't even think. I of call what it I'm the saying. one that the shirt that the comedians wear underneath the the suit jacket, yeah. the blazer. So a nice style shirt that they're, you would get from. They're shiny, them. silkier, but they're really thick and very expensive. Yeah. Even our club owner says, "Why are you wearing a t-shirt?" Well, it's technically, not that's not a t-shirt. <laughs> we consider a t-shirt cotton or polyester or something that says "Gone Hunting" or Adidas or something. So we always say, don't wear advertisement shirts, don't wear sports shirts, wear something appropriate. Mm -hmm. uh, no sporting attire. That's what I just said. Well, yeah, Mom, you did? I just said it. <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying she attention. She never listens to me. You just witnessed it firsthand. I have proof. <laughs> she doesn't it's all listen. on video. Yeah. The hamster. I, I know when I'm talking, all she hears is wah, 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 The hamster wah, wah. was spinning in the wheel. <laughs> But yeah, you know what, and if you question it, even look at some of the um, Las Vegas nightclub attires, because they're going to tell you you can't wear baseball, sh or like um, team shirts, Dallas Cowboys, anything like that. You can't wear um, funky tennis shoes. We don't, personally don't care. Right. But if you're questioning it, think and go step it up a little bit more. Yeah, and keep in mind that when you're dressing, be aware that your your clothes are clean. Uh, we we get, we see a lot of people. We've been in the nightclub lifestyle nightclub industry now for uh, over 18 years, and we've seen people look like they just pulled shirts right out of their hamper, mm -hmm. stains and sweat and everything. And you may not see that stain. You may think that your shirt is really clean, but when you when hit you a black, the black light, lights, oh my God. It, you, you walk around like with beacons on right. you. Right, accentuate. Yeah. And most every club has black lights in them. <laughs> now, we were talking earlier before the video, we said, you know, most everything we're gonna say is common sense. And it really is common sense. And if you feel that we're talking about you, uh, and this helps you, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, and going back to the clubs or to the house parties, a lot of them have themes. A lot of the events that we go to, Nadia in Orleans, the cruises. Right. They have um, themes for every correct. event, every weekend. Tom's trips, the Miss No Swimsuit. We do a Club FA. We have themes every we have single themes weekend. Every weekend. If you're comfortable, if you have the theme, if you want it, wear it. Have it gives fun you something with it. to talk about to mm -hmm. other people and something that you would have in common with someone else. Right. Last weekend, we had Schoolgirl. And, you know, when schoolgirls are dressed as schoolgirls, it, it, it creates a little more fun. Right. But don't think that you have to you don't have to dress ever, and theme to go to that Unless party. the party specifies yes. it. We have talked to club owners that they do, they specify it because it's a theme of the party and yes. they work off that whole thing. We had a lifestyle biker event one time and we did a Halloween ride. And we required, if you wanted to be on our ride, that you came in costume. Imagine 52 couples on Harleys, Yamaha, Suzuki's, Hondas, everything under the sun, all of them wearing costumes. We had one couple and they said, we don't do things. And I said, well, then you don't go on this ride. And they didn't go on the ride mm -mm. because we required it. But that was pretty badass to go rolling yeah. down the freeway, 52 bikes all in um, theme. That was the years ago. That was the best ride we've ever had. That was done. the best ride we've ever had. I mean, talk about creating traffic accidents. <laughs> Now, when you go to venture out to these clubs, I can't say it again, can't stress it again, call them first. You don't want to be caught with your pants down or your pants up, per se. Yeah, we have friends that just, they, they love the club, mm -hmm. and it's a local club to us, and they require guys to be completely naked, mm -hmm. and the women can be in lingerie. And he thought, okay, well, I got a towel. I can wrap a towel around me. No, they called him out twice. They want the guys completely naked walking through their club. So you have to wear it over his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of European clubs are like that too. Yes. You have to be completely naked. Most clubs in Europe are like mm -hmm. that. Or you have to at least be in a pair of underwear or lingerie. You know, we had a couple come into our club last weekend and they literally walked in pretty much naked. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, and they went straight up to the dance floor and buffet and everybody was like, 
what the hell is this couple mm -hmm. thinking? And they were pretty offended, not the couple, but a lot of the people. The couple, turns out, was from Europe, mm -hmm. and that's the style of swing clubs that they go to. So to them, they, we were out of place. We, um, they were in place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, God bless them for knowing how to go in their own environment. But again, that goes to call first to find out what's acceptable. And I know for a fact, our shuttle driver has gotten over to the resort, which is clothing optional. And this couple tried to get into the shuttle van naked. Oh. Yeah, and fun. they're like, oh, no, no. First off, we can't transport you naked. Second off, you have got to wear clothes to go there. You know, if you're looking and you're seeing us look down, we made a couple notes and everything. Because yes, uh, there's a lot of little things. Now, you know, and we know that not everybody has a budget. You're new to this. You're just coming out for the first time. You've got church clothes. <laughs> You've got school clothes, work clothes. Slutty clothes. You may not have slutty clothes. Yeah. I'm going somewhere. All right, this. you're going somewhere with this. <laughs> when we first started in the <laughs> lifestyle, our children were young. We started working at the club. We were there every night we were open, yep. which at that time was only two nights a week. But we didn't have the money, so I hit the thrift stores. You know what? I talked to a lot of people, and there's a lot of girls that hit the thrift mm -hmm. stores. Yes. And you'll be surprised on what somebody donated, and it looks frumpy on someone else. These girls find and mix and match and make really awesome outfits for under mm -hmm. five bucks. I've found some designer clothes there, things that look amazing. Right. And I'm thinking, I would have paid $100 for this in the store. You know, I buy all my underwear from a thrift store. Shut up, you don't even wear underwear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> God. See, this is what I live with now. <laughs> hey, gotta have fun with it. But, um, do they even sell underwear at thrift stores? Um, I don't no, know. I found bikini bottoms, though. Well, I don't know. For our, when we dressed up the men. Oh, okay. Yeah, she likes dressing up men in women's <laughs> clothes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's Mark Mays. That's Mark Mays. Yeah, he's the pervert. <laughs> and then makes him strut around the pool at the resort. So if you want to have some fun games, go to Freedom Anchors Resort. And you can, Jeff the Body Painter is doing all kinds of games every Saturday. So check that out. But yeah, so Bunny just went to a thrift store and bought a whole bunch of women's clothes. And they dressed up. The, the guys, uh, they didn't do it. The girls did it. And they put these fogged out glasses on the girls. They had to put lipstick on, blush, stockings, um, dresses, everything. And they walked around and people voted on them. Mm -hmm. And but somebody won a, a, a weekend stay back at the resort. But I'll tell you what, four, I, I had to get three outfits. I got one lingerie, and I can't remember what You got what the Hello Kitty that everyone loved. I got a nice loved. Hello Kitty shirt and a nice, nice red skirt, and I got something else, another, I think another lingerie or something. But I got all three outfits, full complete outfits for $12. And people loved them. And guess what? You wouldn't have known that. No. So check out your local thrift stores. Believe it or not, some old woman is putting all of her swinger attire in the donation bin, and you could reap the rewards of renewing secondhand generation. <laughs> I had a friend go to a local thrift store up here, and she told me, guess what I found? Oh. I found it. A Club F.A. shirt. A Club F.A. shirt. And then they found one of our camping shirts. Oh. One of our, like, whatever it was, I went camping with Tom and Bunny. Right. They actually found it in the thrift store. I'm like, oops, I guess I wasn't a little specific when I was donating. Was that you? Yeah, I donated. Oh, you donated them. I thought someone else donated No, and I oh. forgot, and somebody else found them. <laughs> so, guys, this is very important. The women dress so nice. Always, always, always. They, you go into our club, I, I can't say for every club, but you know, a lot of the clubs we've been to, the women are always dressed to dance, mm -hmm. always dressed to party, always dressed to have fun. And the guys just seem like they're along for the ride. Stop being along for the ride. Be as hot as the woman that you're with. I mean, dress just as good. Mm -hmm. once, once again, we're going to be doing a video first, on taking one for the team. First appearance <laughs> is the best appearance. Yeah. I mean, we'll see this hot looking girl and I, we just all did it the other day. This hot looking girl walk up the stairs, everybody does this and then here comes the guy. 
and he had on shorts and a ratty t-shirt and I'm like flip flops what? what the hell so now he took five minutes to get dressed right now that couple would probably probably got laid I mean if she was what? that hot was that, that everyone hot. looked so the guy didn't really matter at that <laughs> point but I mean we're like I said we're gonna do a video on taking one for the team and in that instance Bunny would say that's taking one for the team. So, uh, guys, just be conscious, uh, conscious about what you're wearing and how you appear, mm -hmm. and make sure your hair is combed. We see a lot of times where the guy don't even comb, doesn't even comb his hair. So, dress up, dress to impress. Smell good. Yes, I wore deodorant right now. That's because they gave it to you. <laughs> Thank you. See, she dresses me too. She actually lays it all out for me. So she makes sure that I dress to impress. So everybody, like I said, if you can't afford it, go to a thrift store. Take something out of your own closet. Make it look sexy. Uh, one of the things that we do is um, women in men's dress shirts and ties. Yeah. I'm telling you, that looks pretty damn hot. Yep. And a lot of people love that theme. Um, as Bunny says, there's thrift stores, there's foreplaycatalog.com, there's yandy.com. I'm seeing a lot of stuff on eBay and Amazon. Yes. I saw this girl, I complimented her the second she walked in and every time she walked through and she changed dresses several times and I'm telling her how amazing she looks and she's like, oh, I just got this dress off of Amazon for five bucks and I'm like, Bunny, you need to look at this. There's also um, Wish.com. Now I know I think they all come from China, so it might take two or three weeks to get them, but you're getting dresses for $5. Remember though, when you're ordering from China, that's Asian size large or extra large. So if you are normally an American size large, you're gonna be a double X or triple X when you're coming from China. Hit the sale racks. Um, Tom knows I am one of the Biggest ones, I don't even look at what's out front. I go straight, straight to the sale rack. She doesn't even buy uh, no. full price. Last time we went shopping, I hit Charlotte Ruth's. I, hit, I think I got 10 dresses and I spent like $90. Oh, so there you go. So anyway, we hope this video helped you. Couples remember, Dress to impress, uh, impress. Don't wear, don't wear sweatpants, don't wear flip-flops, don't wear shorts. I understand it's hot out there. Um, always wear a collared shirt. You know, the, the affliction style shirts are okay, but the advertising shirts and the sports shirts, not like, so much so in an upscale nightclub like ours. Or the camouflage. Our camouflage, yeah, that's for the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister lives out there. Yeah. Camo country. Camo country. <laughs> so, but I don't know if they still wear them in their swing clubs. I think they do. They get married in it. <laughs> I mean, I you know. see the pictures all over Facebook. <laughs> all right. So if you guys don't know, yes, we're from Southern California. And we're only an hour away from Los Angeles. <laughs> right. So if we're a little snooty, we're, we're sorry. We're not snooty. We're just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> so... Anyway, we're always at Club FA every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can find us uh, periodically at Freedom Maker Resorts at the pool on Saturday. And you can check out our website, swingwithtomandbunny.com, or we made it easier, tomandbunny.com, if you just want to nail that down. Subscribe to our YouTube. I mean, we went from zero subscribers to 700 and some subscribers as of right now. 720 subscribers, I think, or 719. Uh, we also have Twitter and Instagram. You can find those on the swingwithtomandbunny.com. And send us emails. We've been getting a lot of emails. Bunny's body confidence video. Some of the emails actually made her cry because these women were so hiding everything and now they're flaunting it. Mm -hmm. People are coming to our club going, look what I'm wearing. That's so awesome. We want you to have confidence because the only person that matters is you. Absolutely. 100%. Remember, mirror every day. I'm beautiful. I'm sexy. I matter. And you're the only one that matters. Absolutely. So until next week. We'll see you guys soon. Have a great night. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe right now because you want to be notified of our upcoming videos. Yes. <laughs> Good night. Good night.